More signs tonight that Florida's new property insurance laws have not calmed the troubled market. Laws were passed in a special legislative session in Tallahassee called specifically to deal with the crisis. Now multiple insurance companies are suspending or limiting new business in the state. And on your side, investigator Masa Saidi joins us with the impact for homeowners. Keith and Jen, three insurance companies are suspending or limiting new business. And what's worse, one is also suspending renewals, putting policyholders in a tough spot. At the special session in Tallahassee last week, lawmakers told me the property insurance reforms on the table were a step in the right direction, but they don't go far enough or deliver fast enough. Do you anticipate we could be back here soon? I do. We did not do enough to address this crisis. In a couple weeks, more insurance companies are going to fail when the reinsurance rates kick in because this bill did not do enough to get at the root of the problem. On Thursday, Governor Ron DeSantis signed the reforms into law. That very day, Southern Fidelity Insurance Company told agents they were suspending new business and renewals until they can assure complete reinsurance coverage. And starting tomorrow, ASI Progressive is suspending new business in six South Florida and Central counties. People's Trust Insurance Company also suspending new business across the state. Insurance broker Ronald Assisi is closely tracking the market. The question is how many more carriers are going to follow suit um, and uh, what is going to be left in the marketplace in terms of capacity. The limitations we're seeing now with carriers that just started opening for business, closing in a matter of weeks, um, due to the reinsurance issues is, is, I would say, is fairly unprecedented. How difficult is it going to be for families to get insurance in the middle of hurricane season? Well, I mean, the, the good news is that we have citizens. And of course, Citizens is a state-backed insurer of last resort. It has been growing at a fast pace. And if a major hurricane hits the state, you guys know we as taxpayers would all be on the hook for that. Oh, why are the insurance companies having a hard time getting this reinsurance you're talking about? Didn't the state just create some sort of a special fund to help those companies? Yeah, that's right. The state has, the state-backed reinsurance is currently available. Insurance companies are getting it at a reduced cost. But due to the uncertainty in the market, I'm told that reinsurers are raising rates. So it cancels out any savings that the insurance companies would have had.